Well, in the next uh, week or two, we're going to be decorating with the festive season in mind, and designer Nikki O'Neill has unique options for your space. Decorating for the holidays is difficult, but it's especially challenging when you're in a small space. I started with this wreath. I mean, it's gorgeous, but I chose it because it has little flecks of gold and silver, and I absolutely love mixed metals. They're throughout the entire space, so this works perfectly. Now, I'm not a big fan of red, but it's the perfect statement color for the holidays. So I've added just a little bit of, of it by adding ornaments throughout the shelves. It wasn't quite enough, so what I did do was grab a canvas and did a quick roll of some red paint. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be perfect. It actually adds more interest because it's not perfect. It has a little bit of some white flecks coming through and there's a little bit extra paint that kind of adds depth and interest. So it actually looks more like art because it's not perfect. I wanted to bring a little bit of the outdoors in, so what I did is I decided to add a little bit of snow. Now, if you have children or pets, you might not want to do this, but what you can do is add a little bit of greenery, like I've done here. A great way to warm up your living room is by adding color and texture. When it comes to colors, you want to add colors like reds and browns and dark colors. Now, red is my signature color, but I don't want to take the exact same red and carry it throughout the entire space because that would lack a little bit of interest. So what you want to do is add different hues like cranberries and dusty roses and pale pinks. Now that's carried all the way through to the rug. This over dyed rug creates almost like a marbling effect. Now, when it comes to texture, you want to add things like faux furs and chunky knits. Now you can see these are the only trees I have in here, and that's because this space is less than 500 square feet. But I didn't want to forgo having trees completely, so what I did was I put the large trees outside. You can do the same thing if you have a patio or a deck. This is a balcony, so what you want to do is make sure that if your trees are outside, you anchor them. You don't want it flying off in the wind. Um, one of them is decorated and one of them isn't. The one that is decorated, make sure that whatever our ornaments you put on there are fastened directly on the tree. And the other one, I just um, put a little bit of lights on it so that it can twinkle in the light. Now you might be wondering where the gifts are. You don't want to keep them outside because you don't want them to get wet and soggy. So what I've decided to do is actually incorporate it as part of my decor. The gifts that I'm giving, I'm tucking them away on the shelves. And if I'm lucky enough to receive gifts, I'm putting them in this beautiful basket and storing them away until that special day.